new sunscreen day. <laughs> I just got this uh, during the Amazon big sale, prime day sale <laughs> day uh, for about half the price. No, not half the price. About $20 less than it normally is. This is expensive, which is why I haven't picked it up. But my viewer, Lisa, hey, Lisa, <laughs> recommended this. She says she loves it. I think she gets the tinted version and recommended that I not get that <laughs> because it would be too dark. So I got the untinted. This is 100% mineral, water resistant 40 minutes, uh, sunscreen with DNA repair sums and antioxidants, ultralight emulsion, ISDEN, ISDEN? ISDEN Photo is the brand, 11% zinc oxide. It claims to help repair sun damage. So if I have any sun damage, hopefully it'll repair it. We're gonna shake, shake a shake a. This is a pretty big bottle, it's 3.4 fluid ounces. So even though you pay more, I wonder, compared to a 1.7 fluid ounce bottle, if it runs about the same, I don't know. I'll have to do the price comparison at the end when I do the wrap up. I'm gonna try this out for a week, unless I just really hate it today. I don't remember what the finish is supposed to be. Let's see, one, two. It's it's a little drippy, it's a little runny, okay. It does have a slight scent. It doesn't say it's fragrance free. To me it has like a light clean scent. Okay, let's just test it out. The scent is stronger than I initially smelled it, smelt it. Looks like it's gonna leave a little bit of a white cast. I'm not gonna put this around my eye because it does have, yeah, it does have like a, a powdery fragrance to it. And my eyes are already going bonkers this morning due to allergies. It's not clinging to eyebrow hair, so that's good. All right, I'm gonna finish putting this on my neck and I'll check back in with you in 10 to 15 minutes. Okay, wow, this dried down fast. It's only been seven minutes and it feels very lightweight. It does still have a milkiness to it, but you can't tell on my skin because <laughs> I am the shade of the bottle, <laughs> practically. I can still smell it after seven minutes, so I'll be curious. I'm gonna put some foundation on, probably put my glasses back on <laughs> and I'll be back. I just want to give you an update on the ISDEN sunscreen and how it does when you work out. <laughs> I just did a bunch of Pilat wall Pilates and my face got a little sweaty, but it is maintaining. It, it's still on my face. It still feels great. Uh, it looks shiny, but I think that's because of the overhead light. <laughs> and possibly a little sweat. Yeah, I got some sweat right there. <laughs> I decided not to wear foundation today because honestly, I'm struggling with a headache, so... Okay, I just came back from the eye doctor, so my eyes are dilated. <laughs> but, um, and so I'm having trouble seeing out here. But I wanted to let you know about the sunscreen. The ISDEN underneath my foundation. It's a different day. Uh, this is a two hour check-in. It's doing fantastic under foundation. It does, it gives a matte effect, love. You just watched my wear test of the ISDEN Photo Broad Spectrum SPF 50 water resistant 40 minutes, 100% mineral sunscreen, 3.4 fluid ounces. I did get this on a sale. Normally this retails for $70, which is a lot. However, it's 3.4 fluid ounces. In comparison, this is the regular size, 1.69 fluid ounces of a regular size bottle. So you're getting twice as much. So this would be around $35 for this normal size of facial sunscreen. So keep that in mind. I don't think 35 is too bad of a price. It's kind of a mid-range price. I do find that it is lightweight. It absorbs quickly onto the skin. It has a dry touch to it. This is the untinted version. I would not, not recommend this to most skin tones unless you're close to mine. <laughs> because it does have a white cast to it, and, but there is a tinted version that I know a lot of you, a lot of my viewers absolutely love the tinted version, but I knew it was gonna be too dark for me. Lisa, I'm talking to you. Thank you <laughs> for uh, letting me know, one, letting me know about the sunscreen, and two, letting me know that you think the tinted version would be too dark for me, so. 
That's why I picked up the white version. This sits beautifully under foundation. It is water resistant. I've worn it out walking. Uh, it beads up on the face. I've worn it running on the elliptical with no issues. It's 11% zinc oxide. But I think the main purpose that you should purchase this, that this might be the right thing for, is if you need to repair already existing sun damage, which I feel like I don't have too much on my face. I could be wrong. Most of this over here is acne scarring from when I was a teenager. There is one thing I did not like about this, <laughs> and that is the scent. It is not a deal breaker, but I find that the scent lingers. It's that powdery, it kind of reminds me of some of the, of the Misha waterproof scent. If you're familiar with that sunscreen, it, it reminds me of the scent of that one, but it's like a strong powdery scent. So it's not fragrance free, which surprises me because this is recommended by doctors. Why couldn't they make this without fragrance in it? That's that's what I'm confused about. I found interesting that the Isden brand is from Barcelona, Spain. I've only tried one other brand that is from Spain and I'm getting ready to film that, that one for you. So that should be the next sunscreen review video that you see will be another brand from Spain. <laughs> interesting. Overall, I enjoy this formula. I will continue using it up, but I'm not gonna repurchase. One, $70 is a lot for a one-time purchase. Unless I didn't test out sunscreen constantly, this would be a good purchase for me. Two, not crazy about the scent. And three, I don't feel like I have too much sun damage on my face. Today is a great day to wear sunscreen. I am enjoying the Isden.